Here's a quick question. Take a look at this image. Do you think this is a Kegel exercise? The correct answer is that it's not a Kegel exercise. This is actually an exercise for the glutes and butt. And this exercise will just waste your time if you're trying to improve your bladder control or overcome erectile dysfunction. Today we're going to go through the correct way to do exercises that won't waste your time and that will help you address erectile dysfunction and bladder problems. So let's get started. I'll be showing you a specific progression of Kegel exercises for erectile dysfunction in an upcoming video. So you might want to subscribe below to catch that video too. Today we're going to go through the best Kegels positions to start with how to do your Kegel exercises, and we're going to go through that step by step. How many Kegels you need to do, and then we'll finish off with how long it'll take to see results. Now, the best position to do your Kegel exercises when you're starting out is the one that you can best feel your pelvic floor muscles working. This includes perhaps lying on your side with a pillow between your legs, as you can see here, or lying on your back. Or, alternatively, sitting, which is the position we're going to start your exercises in today. So you need to know where your pelvic floor muscles are to do your Kegel exercises correctly. Now your pelvic floor muscles are here between your legs. You can see that image on the screen now. They're like a diamond kite shape over the pelvic floor. Looking at these muscles from the same view in the illustration above, you can see that some of these muscles wrap around the base of the penis and also around the anus. And these muscles are muscles that help you during sex and also for bladder and bowel control. So let's start step by step activating the three important parts you need to train. So first of all, sit tall, move away from the back of your chair and lift your chest. Now, here's the first step to do at home, to do your Kegel exercises correctly. I want you to think about trying to shorten or withdraw your penis inwards towards your body. Try now where you're sitting. Can you feel that action? It's a really small, subtle movement. Try again. Don't worry, your penis isn't going to get shorter. Just try to think of this as a way of improving your muscle control. If you hold your fingers around the base of your penis, you may be able to feel the muscle that wraps around it contracting as your penis moves slightly inwards and towards your body. Now next, I want you to imagine that you're trying to stop or slow the flow of urine and contract around the base of your penis and then relax. Now try to put the steps one and two together. Shorten the penis and try to stop the flow of urine. And now relax. Now here's the final part to getting that exercise correct. Try to tighten your anus as if you're stopping gas from passing. And this is the back part of your pelvic floor. You should feel your anus tighten, but your buttocks should stay relaxed. So you should be moving up and down like that in the chair. Buttocks stay relaxed and the anal sphincter tightens and squeezes. Let's now combine all three steps. This is the correct Kegel exercise. So sit up, lengthen your spine to sit tall, keep the inward curve in your lower back, breathe normally, and now think to shorten your penis, stop the flow of urine, and tighten your anus together all at once. Can you keep those pelvic floor muscles contracted and keep the hold? Try to keep your belly relaxed, Keep your breathing normal if you can and hold that contraction for a couple of more seconds and now let your pelvic floor muscles relax back to their resting position. How did you go with that exercise at home? This exercise feels really subtle. Don't expect to feel a large contraction like flexing your biceps. These muscles that you're exercising are small. To test your kegels you can do a number of things. Your penis should move slightly inwards towards your abdomen as you do this exercise. And your scrotum lifts slightly upwards towards your body as you stand side on. So you might like to do this in a mirror and see that your penis moves inwards towards your body and your scrotum lifts slightly towards your body as well. You can also test this exercise by stopping or slowing the flow of urine, but only do this as a test and not as an exercise and maybe just once a week. Now, do these Kegel exercise tips help you? Let me know in the comments below if you're still not sure. How many Kegel exercises do you need to do results? Well, I've got this listed in the description below for you to refer back to. But basically starting out during weeks one and two, start doing really gentle Kegel exercises and just focus on getting your technique right. 
Then, as your technique improves, it becomes really important to contract your pelvic floor muscles strongly. Now, I'm going to repeat that because it's such an important point. You really need to contract your pelvic floor muscles strongly as you can, but using the correct technique. So it might take a little bit of time to build up to that. Now start with the number of exercises you can do. For example, if you can do two exercises in a row for three seconds, that's what you'd start with. And try and repeat that routine three times a day on most days of the week. Your ultimate goal for strengthening your pelvic floor muscles is to try to contract them 10 seconds each time. Now that's quite a long time, isn't it? Making that contraction strongly and doing eight to 12 repeated exercises for most days of the week. So how long will it take to notice results? Well, some men can notice improvements within a month of starting their pelvic exercises. However, for others, it can take five to six months to fully strengthen the pelvic floor muscles if they're weak. So I really hope that this information today helps you get started with your Kegel exercises and also helps to make your life better. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up if it's been helpful. And your questions and comments below are always really welcome. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.